Protect your privacy online with the number one rated VPN on the market, ExpressVPN, and get three months free when using my referral link. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GT Online Kyoprico Heist in-depth guide. Today we're going to be talking about the new bomber plan, the RO86 Alkanost. And let's just get right into it. This thing is terrible, so I'm going to be ranting about it as we go along, because like our precious glass helicopter, the Annihilator Stealth, this plane is garbage. So the Alkanost is unique in its size. It's the first ever extra large plane that we have received, and because of that, if you want to show it off in your hangar, it takes up the entire thing, so you can't have any other planes out on the floor. It can be fitted with bombs, and for an extra large plane that is meant to be a dedicated bomber, you'd think the amount of bombs it could store would be like 200 or unlimited, but no, it can only hold 50 bombs. And you know what's even funnier about this situation? The description of this plane has the audacity to say, what's the Alkanost's biggest selling point? Enough ordnance to sink a mid-sized island? <laughs> oh my god, man, it's too funny. It's honestly just a joke. Can I just ask why the Starling, the smallest plane in the entire game, has the same amount of bombs as this extra large bomber plane that can only be fitted with bombs? It just makes no sense at all. My freaking Starling has more weapons than this piece of shit plane does. Even the Volatile can hold 100 bombs, which makes it at least somewhat live up to its name as a bomber, but this thing, no. 50 bombs, control C, control V. But maybe you're thinking, well, it's giant, so it should have some armor, shouldn't it? Well, you're exactly right in thinking that way, so in typical Rockstar fashion, it blows up in just three homing rockets. Or three explosive rounds. Or simply just one RPG. As big as this plane is, my fucking RC Bandito can tank more rockets than this piece of shit. In this clip right here, I said to my friend, Hey, just try your hardest to kill me with the bombs, and I'll try to shoot you down with just an RPG. And on his first pass, I hit him with the RPG and blew him up instantly, because he can't even take one of those RPGs, and the thing's fucking huge. It's kind of truly hard to miss this thing when you're shooting a rocket at it. Rockstar is completely capable of adding armor to planes. The B-11 Strike Force takes, I think, six homing missiles to destroy, and it can tank RPGs as well. But for some reason, a massive plane like the Alkanos can't even take one RPG before blowing up. It's just, it's really sad. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. And the chances they'll ever kill someone with the bombs on this plane are so low because its handling is actually terrible for bombing. In order for a bomber to be good in this game, it needs to have decent rudder handling in order to make small adjustments in case your target moves. This plane barely has any rudder strength whatsoever, and unlike the Starling, you can't rotate it fast to make similar adjustments to compensate for the lack of rudder turning. And when I say rudder strength, I mean when you press the LB and RB buttons on the Xbox or L1 and R1 on the PS4, and the plane turns to the left and the right without using the left stick. The Rogue is an example of a plane with good rudder strength, and the Alkanost has hardly any. One neat feature that this plane has is stealth mode. Once you reach a certain height, the plane will go completely off the radar so no one will be able to see you on the map. The height you have to be is just a little bit above the Maze Bank Tower, just to give a reference. You don't have to be extremely high, which is good. But even so, though, the stealth mode kind of works against the aircraft instead of having synergy with its bombing. Trying to use the bomb from the stealth mode height is just a nightmare, mostly because the bombs are just going to fall through the map at certain distances. It would have been really sick if this plane could have gotten like guided bombs or something where you drop one and then a camera follows it down while the plane autopilots itself in the meantime. You know, something like that would have been pretty sweet. But instead we get some copy-paste shitty bombs that are the exact same on every other plane. Another gripe I have is that the plane this is based off of in real life is a Russian bomber called the Topolov Tu-160. I probably got the name wrong, but either way, this plane has what is called variable sweep wings, which means the wings are able to change position in flight so that it produces less drag in the air to fly faster. And here's a visual representation of what that would look like with the wings folded inward and the wings expanded outwards. And I was looking closely at the model for the Alkanost, and it looks like they modeled the aircraft with the intent of having that feature, but there's no way to make the wings go back in flight, there's no way to retract them. It would have been so sick if you could activate the swept back wings when you got to stealth mode height and the plane gained a ton more speed because of it, but sadly one of the coolest features of its real life counterpart just didn't get added. And while we're talking about speed and performance, let's see how well the Alkanost does in top speed against the Volatile. The first clip is a top speed test, my friend King of Carp is in a Volatile and I'm in the Alkanost ahead of him, and let's see if he can catch up to us.
So the Alcanaw seems to be slower in the top speed department than the Volatile. But now let's do a full takeoff speed test. The Alkanos is much faster at taking off than the Volatile, and to be honest, it almost has to be, because there's really not that many places where the wings won't crash into anything before you take off. If it did take the entire runway to take off. And lastly, we have a vertical climb test against the Volatile. So very impressively, the Alkanos can fly straight up into the air once it has enough momentum. The Volatile simply cannot do that. It actually stalled and flew backwards during our test. But it's pretty cool considering the Alkanos is giant and can do that without stalling. That's pretty neat. However, it cannot dodge homing missiles by going in circles, so it really has no use. Its handling may be cool and you may be able to do some cool tricks with it, but you're pretty much a sitting duck to anything that has missiles. And the last thing about this aircraft that just doesn't make any sense is that during the heist, if you do the Alkanos Halo Jump approach, you can sit four people in this aircraft. There's an entire cargo bay in the back, and there's even room for more than that. But in free mode, it says it's a two-seater, and only the pilot and one other person could sit in it. And I just can't wrap my head around why they would give it an entire cargo bay to only be used in the heist. It's just terrible design. Nothing about this aircraft makes sense. I would have thought after the Bambushka and the Volto, they would have learned from their mistakes and made an actual good bomber plan for once, but this is just the same shit, man. The same fucking problems. It's huge with no armor, 50 bombs for a giant-ass bomber plane. It's just stupid. Rockstar just proves time and time again that they have no clue how to balance vehicles in this game. I mean, nothing about this plane is useful. The stealth mode is cool, but the Akula can do that too, and it's much more viable in terms of survivability and utility. You don't have to be like a certain height in the air, you can just activate it whenever you want. You're not gonna hit shit with the bombs in this thing. In fact, I would bet money that someone on the ground with the hoeing launcher would destroy this plane 9 times out of 10 before the person in the plane killed the person on the ground. It's so lazily done, it could've been way better. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. Huge thank you to my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can always use the join button or the link that's down in the description. I'm gonna leave you guys with a clip at the end showing quite possibly the one reason you should buy this plane. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.